हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेटल कास्टिंग द टॉपिक कवर्स इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस फोर्थ सेमेस्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल डिस्कस अबाउट और मीनिंग ऑफ कास्टिंग अंतर दैन ए टर्म ऑफ कास्टिंग है फाउंड्री कैन यू डिफाइन द फाउंड्री फाउंड्री और कास्टिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग मेटल अलोई कंपोनेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ डिजाइड सेप्स बाय पावरिंग द मोल्टन मेटल एंड अलोई इनटू ए प्रीपेड मोल्ड एंड देन अलोविंग द मेटल एंड अलोई टू कूल एंड सॉलिडिफाई The solidified piece of the metal or alloy is known as casting. That is basic definition of the casting or a foundry. The basic terms have in casting, like that flex, drag, cop, chick. All terms uh, we will discuss with the figure in the slide. And the first one, flask. A flask is a metal or wood frame without fixed top or bottom in which the mold is formed. We can see in this slide that is cop and that is drag. Upper part known as cop and bottom part known as drag. That is part of flask. drag according to figure we can see lower molding flask that is known as drag cop upper molding flask that is known as flask chick intermediate molding flask used in three pieces molding that is known as chicks and the second term of the casting is pattern we can see pattern here in between molding box in the shape of required shape of piece that is made by wood metal etc that is known as pattern we can say it is the replica of the final object to be made the mold cavity is made with the help of pattern parting line parting line this is the dividing the line in between two molding flasks that make up the mold we can see here that is parting line in the figure pouring basin pouring basin a small funnel shaped cavity at the top of the mold into which the molten metal is poured we can see here that is pouring basin that known as pouring basin in the figure is per the passes through which the molten metal from the pouring basin reaches the mold cavity in many cases it controls the flow of metal into the mold that is is per that is vertical part known as spur after the pouring basin that start here and end of the here that part is known as spur runner the runner the channel through which the molten metal is carried from the spur to the gate we can see in this figure the runner is here this and to this that is called runner riser 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 a column of molten metal placed in the mold to feed the castings as is sinks and solidifies also known as feed head 
that is riser riser is a hole that used for a reservoir of the molten metal that uh, they use for or a compensate of the shrinkage allowance or a shrinkage of the product in during the solidification next one gate gate is channel through which the molten metal enters the mold cavity here is gate where is enter the molten metal in the casting cavity that is known as gate core is separate part of the mold made of sand and generally backed which is used to create openings and various shaped cavities in the casting that is known as core we can see in this figure that is core chaplets chaplets are used to support the core inside the mold cavity to take care of its own weight and overcome the metallic force that is chaplets the basic function of the chaplets is the support the cores vent a small opening in the mold to facilitate escaping of the air and gases these holes vertical holes are known as vents for releasing the hot gases in during filling of the molten metal in casting cavity the basic features the basic features of the casting the pattern and mold a pattern is made of wood or metal is a replica of the final product and is used to preparing mold cavity mold material should possess refractory characteristics and withstand the pouring temperature thank you